So this video is just going to be about a generic made in China carbonation cap for corny keg that you can buy on Amazon for 30 bucks. This has a third port and that inlet with the dip tube is what connects to the carb stone that you're going to see in this video. This kit comes with the length of hose and a carb stone. You are not supposed to touch the carb stone with your bare hands. So that's why I kind of dump it without touching it. And I'm putting everything in a bucket full of soap and sanitizer and I get everything ready for use in my keg. No, this is just assembling, and this shows you the spring, the poppet valve, and the actual ball lock itself. Now, this thing also includes a pressure relief valve. Putting the hose on the dip tube takes some effort, but that's good. And I try to put the hose all the way, so that way there's no risk of it coming off. Same thing with the barb. Now, the air stone does have a little bit of tension going into the hose, but that's it. No clamps needed. Installation of the corny cap into the keg is just very straightforward. If you have one, if you used the cap before, it's the same method. A little bit tricky because of the dip tube, but definitely something that's not impossible to do. During this time lapse, you're going to see the installation of the rest of the components to the corny keg and shaking around the sanitizer within the keg. After installing the lid into the keg for a second time, then I start to purge the keg. I'm going to use carbon dioxide to purge the keg. Now, I make sure that I purge this many times, and there is no greater emphasis to make sure you get rid of all of the oxygen inside the keg. Making this beer took about three weeks. Not making sure that oxygen is purged out will be detrimental to the quality of this beer. Oxidation will give you a cardboard taste and smell and it's not a very pleasant thing especially when you're trying to make a beer that has aromatics added into it. And of course I got to connect the carb cap to the CO2. Purging all the air from the line and getting all the CO2 through the carb stone is very important to make sure that there's not any place where there's going to be some oxygen to kind of sneak into my beer. In this part, I disconnect the hose from the gray port, which is the gas, and I install it to the black port, which is the liquid. Doing this ensures that the CO2 fills from the bottom and it works its way up. The final thing that I do is I just pressurize the keg. And then I just install the gas quick disconnect back to how it was. And that's it. Very simple. I wish I would have bought this a lot sooner, but maybe it wasn't really available back then. But I'm glad it's available now. 